there. Much, much, much later. Oh man, where's daddy with my cereal? If you didn't get here soon, I'm gonna go poop in this sink. Jeffy, I'm home. All right, Jeffy, I'm back mm -hmm. in the store. I went to three of them, by the way, because two of them he were closed. He will poop be in sitting the outside, sink. Waiting for them to open. None of them had Cheerios. So I got you this instead. You can have Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Daddy? I hate that. <laughs> I thought you might say it, so I also got you this. No, this wasn't you it. You want Cinnamon Toast Crunch, you can have Fruit Loops. Can you really? Oh, fine! Cocoa Puffs? Nope. Lucky Charms? Nope. Oreos? Nope. Fruity Pebbles? Nope. Tricks? Nope. Bran Flakes? Nope. Three hours later. Nope. 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 Sorry, Jimmy, the what you want? I want Cheerios. Well, you don't have Cheerios. You better go get me some. I can't get you some. Well, what are you going to do? Make your own stupid cereal. I don't care. Just whatever you do, don't wake me up, because I'm going back to bed. That is right. I can make my own cereal. I'm going to do that. It's finally music got the real small game made in videos. I'm gonna make the best cereal ever. Except, I, uh, I, uh, I don't know how to make cereal. Ugh. Hey, Jeffy, what are you doing? Making another pizza? Nah, pizza, Morty. I'm trying to make cereal. Don't, you're making cereal? I'm really good at making cereal. Uh, are you really? Because you weren't good at making that pizza. But, but that was you. You were the one that screwed that no, up. No, Morty, you put, like, weird stuff in it. Like, that green stuff and the, and the goldfish. It was kind of weird. Well, whatever. What, what's with the pot of water? I... I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, well, I'm really good at making some cereal, so I'll make some for you. What, really? Yeah. Or that would be really good. Just try to kind of make it like Cheerios, because I really want Cheerios, but Daddy couldn't find any. Okay, I'll try to make it really good. Just go sit over there. Will do. I used to smoke. I thought it helped. It didn't know. Here's your cereal. Hope you like it. Oh, Morty. Oh my. Look at that. That's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Well, oh, it's not really anything that special, you know. It's just a Morty. I, 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 I gotta get this a shot, Morty. I, let me smell that. Whoa. I think I'm ascending. I haven't even tried it yet, but this is the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Do you, do you think you can make another? Well, yeah, I can make another. It's really easy to me because it was just a bunch of marshmallows. Yeah, whatever. I, I need to make another for Daddy. He's got to try this. It's going to taste so good. All right, Maury. I'm going to give this a shot for real. Okay, I'll go make another one. Daddy, Daddy, wake up. Daddy, Daddy. What do you want? <laughs> I got some cereal for you to try. That's it? Yeah, it's super good. Morty made it. Oh, it's so good. Why would I want to eat the cereal? You're the one that's been complaining about it all morning. Well, morning gave me some new cereal. Daddy, it'll change your life. It won't get rid of you. Well, no, it won't. Daddy, that was really harsh. I didn't like that very much. Don't do that again. Try this cereal, Daddy. You're going to love it. If I try it, will you go away? Uh, yeah, yeah sure, we'll go away. All right, fine. I'll just take one bite. You're going to love it so much. Uh, yeah, yeah. How's it taste? Oh, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Morty made this? Yeah. This is amazing! The best cereal I've ever had! Morty, how'd you make that? Well, well, it's nothing special, you know, I just put a bunch of money- No, 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 tell Morty, you can't let him know, it's our secret. Oh, okay. You guys gotta sell this thing. Sell? We can call it Jeffio's. Well, why not Morty-O's? Well, Morty, it just- I like Jeffio's way better, sorry. Well, alright, I guess. I mean, you make this cereal, I sell this cereal. Daddy, what do you think? Well, I think that's a good idea, you guys can make a lot of money off of this. I'll go make the box. Come on, Morty, we gotta go. Okay. Oh man, Morty, I don't think they have it here. Oh shoot, maybe they sold out because look, there's no cereal up here. Oh yeah, you're right. Shut you up. Oh, they got my cereal, Morty. Yeah, wait, wait, what? Your cereal? No, it's our cereal. I helped make it. Look, look at the box, Morty. That's my cereal. Well, yeah, but I'm the one that makes the cereal. Morty, let's not argue here. We gotta get a box before they're all gone. Yeah, I, I don't want to miss out. Right, let's get a box. Okay.
Oh, wow, Morty. It looks as good as always. Yeah, I guess. I'm still mad at you for taking all the credit, though. Morty, look at the box. It says Jeffio's, not Morty-O's. Yeah, but it's a team effort. I make the cereal and you market it. Well, you should put in more effort than you, brat. Oh, whatever. Just take the bite. I can't wait to eat it again. Hey, guys, good news. What is it, Daddy? We got a food critic coming to town. He wants to try your cereal. You hear that, Morty? A food critic. Well, if he says it's good, then we're going to get so many more sales. Yeah, you're going to use all those good sales to market your cereal, right? Because it's not our cereal. Cereal. Don't be a brat, Morty. Just make the cereal. You want me to make the cereal so you can take all the credit? Well, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not making the cereal. I quit. Daddy, what am I gonna do? I don't know. You know the recipe, right? I. No, I don't. Well, you better figure something out fast, cause. Uh oh. I think he's here. Look, I'll stall for time. You better figure out your cereal fast. So what am I gonna do? I don't know how to make this. Well, that's probably the food critic. I better stall for time so Jeffy can get that cereal ready. I, uh, I'm actually here to arrest your son. Wait, for what? Well, illegally selling cereal, of course. Wait, no he's not, it's on store shelves! Nah, I'm just pulling your leg. I had nothing else to wear, so I wore my police outfit. Oh, fine, whatever, just get in here and get on the couch. Alright, so, uh, where's the cereal? Uh, well, uh, you said you wanted it fresh, right? So, uh, Jeff's making it fresh, just for you. You know, I'm, I'm busy today. I expected the cereal to be kind of ready when I got here, so, uh, that's gonna be points off. Uh, well, well it shouldn't be too much longer, right, Jeffy? Well, I guess I gotta make this cereal now. Oh man, I really wish Morty put the ingredients on the side of the box. Alright, time to make something. I hope the food critic likes it. Ooh, bran flakes? Food's all ready. Oh, uh, I think your food's ready, so why don't you go eat it? All right, great. I'll eat that cereal. Okay. Um, um, oh. I, 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 it's I, this way. It's, it's that way? Yeah, it's that yeah, way. Yeah, right, 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 right. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, yeah. What, what in God's name is that? Oh. Oh. Why do I do this to myself? Why do I do this to myself? Oh. Well, time for the first bite. Oh, man, I'm going to regret this. Wow, he's actually eating it. Oh, well, that wasn't so bad, I guess. Oh! Daddy, you think he liked it? Oh, I think he's dead! Oh, wait, what? Oh, we gotta call a doctor then! He is the doctor. Oh! Lots of them in the middle of me made going up in there. I know those are back now. Man, what a great day. Because it's time to so target to those bad daddy, teams. Daddy, daddy, daddy! What? I want to go in the pool. Then go in. I don't want to go by myself. Well, I'm not going in. Well, your god was on. Well, yeah, because I just went in the pool. Then why aren't you wet? Well, because I dried off. 
What, 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 are you, what are you doing? I'm trying to push you in. Well, you're not going to push me in. You know how you keep calling me big and round? Well, yeah. once you're right, you're not strong enough to push me in this pool. Oh, Spooky whatever. cats you, if you're on the oh, screen. What's that? Water balloons? What are water balloons? Jeffy, how do you not know what water balloons are? Dad doesn't let me out of the house. Well, okay, I guess. I mean, they're balloons that you fill with water and you throw them at people. That's so cool. Junior, you want to go in the pool? Well, not really. I just want to play with my water balloons. Junior, what if we use the water balloons? In the pool. Oh. Use the water balloons in the pool? Yup. That's so cool, we gotta do that. Yeah, we do. All right, let's go in. All right. Hey, Junior, you like my unicorn float? What? My unicorn float, isn't it dope? No, I don't care about your stupid unicorn float. What did you just call me? Oh, June. You're sorry, I won't do it again. Yeah, you better not do it again, because when people call me June, I get a little bit mad. And when I get a little bit mad, I throw temper tantrums. And when I throw temper tantrums, I don't let you play with my water balloons. Oh, that's fine. I just wanted to eat them. Well, no, Jeffy, you don't eat them. You throw them at people and they explode with water. Oh, really? So we get to throw them at Daddy? No, 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 you can't throw it at him because uh, he doesn't have a stunt, so he can't get wet. Junior, what's a stunt? Uh, yeah, that's not important. Look, this is what happens when you throw a water balloon at somebody. See, you take it, you throw it at him, and then ah, they pop. Junior, why'd you do that? Well, because I wanted to show you it, and I guess now we're missing a water balloon. But it's fine. We still got a lot more. So uh, let's get this war started. All right, let's go. All right, Jeffy, I got all my balloons. Are you ready? Yeah, Junior, but the water balloons don't taste very good. What? Jeffy, I told you not to eat them. Oh, man. Well, as long as you have enough, we can still have our fight. All right, Junior, let's go. All right, then. Are you ready? Just one, that way it'll be fair. Thanks, Junior, you're the best. Ow! Ow, Jeffy! That was point blank! It didn't even pop, that really hurt! Ow! Again? Why don't you do that? I don't want to play anymore! <laughs> wow, this game's fun. <laughs> oh, Junior, what's wrong? You hit me with two water balloons and they hurt! Well, let's play again, and you can have one of my water balloons. I can't have one of your water balloons, you killed them all! Uh, oh, man, well, I can cough one up. No, Jeffy, stop! I don't want to play water balloons with you anyway. You make it unfun. <laughs> uh, what about water gun fight? We don't have water gun. Sure we do in the bucket. Wait, we do? Yeah. <laughs> well, then let's do it. You can't hurt with water guns. All right, let's go. All right, Junior, the water gun should be in here. Uh, what? Jeffy. Where'd they go? There are no water guns in there. I think you're just lying. I wasn't lying. Junior, they should be in here. Oh, ow, oh, ow! Oh, what the heck? Oh, bully Bill! Yeah, that's right, losers. We took your guns. You can't do that. Yeah, you can't just take our guns. Oh, I'm not just taking your guns. I'm taking the whole pool. Oh. Yeah, that's right, boys. Make yourselves comfortable. Oh, he's taking my float. Oh, Bully Bill, you can't do this. My goggles. What am I gonna do? Oh, uh, you're gonna stay out of our pool, because if you go in, you're gonna get shot. Oh, with this water gun, because it's, you know, family friendly and all. Oh, man. Come on, Junior. Oh, man, June, now we're stuck in a dumb hot tub. Jiffy, what did I tell you before? Stop calling me June. It makes me really mad. Why? <laughs> Jeffy, I have an idea! What? I know how to get the boys out of the pool. How? We'll make them really, really mad, and then they have to leave. Uh, how are we going to make them mad? Uh, oh, I have an idea! Uh, Junior, are you sure this is going to... Oh, will work. Yeah, Jeffy, this will definitely work. Everybody hates it when you do this in the pool. Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh. 
Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow, Junior. This is a great idea. Oh, I've had to go for a while now. Huh? What's that noise? Oh, oh dude. Yoshi, get out of the pool. He's peeing in there. Is it just... Oh, man, Junior, that was great. I know. How do we look so convincing with just a water balloon? What water balloon? Uh... Uh, well, well, at least we got Yoshi out of the pool, but uh, I don't think Cuphead and Blizzard are going to fall for that because they're on rafts. Oh, Cuphead is easy. We just knocked the raft over. Well, we can't knock it over. He'll see you coming. Well, if you go in there first and distract him, I can go behind and knock him over. Oh, yeah. I'll go do that. All right, great. <laughs> All right, Jeffy. I'm in position. All right, Junior. Go ahead. Okay, I'm doing it now. Hey, Cuphead. Water balloon fight. Ugh. Huh? What? Oh, 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 right in the stomach. Oh, you loser! I'm gonna get you for that! Why would you throw that at me? I don't even have a water balloon to fight back at you with! Oh, I'm gonna shoot you with this thing then! You have to break the heat! I can't even hit me in the stomach with a water balloon! I need a water balloon? Come on, those things hurt if you hit them and they don't pop! Oh man, I can't believe you're doing that! I'm gonna Tough get head. you for... Uh, that... That... Uh... You... Oh! 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 Dirty pee water! Ah! Oh, Bully Bill, I'm out of here! All right, Jeffy, we just got out of Cuphead. Now Bully Bill's the last one left. What do we do? I got an idea, Junior. You ever see a bubble machine before? A uh, what? Hey, Junior, you're going to love this. June! <laughs> uh, it's kind of scary in here by myself. What is that? Oh, oh, Lord. this stuff? Hello? Uh, oh man, what is this stuff? It's all weird and soapy. Oh. Yeah, Jeffy, we got all the bullies out of the pool. We win. Yeah, all right. Wait, wait a minute. Uh, Jeffy, did you actually be in the pool? Yup. A wider smile brightens more than just your teeth. Colgate Optic White's unique hydrogen peroxide. Hello guys, today we are looking at the now six-year-old spring ecosphere. You know, when I first made this ecosystem, I thought I would get a whole lot of use if I emphasized how big it was compared to most other closed ecosystems. Nowadays, I kind of forgot about that, and I also don't think it really matters. Anyway, I'm getting distracted already. You're here to hear about this closed ecosystem. This is what it looks like. A big jar with green water full of algae, a big plant, and some black dots swimming around. But it wasn't always like this, you know. A very, very brief history. When I made this self-sustaining ecosystem six years ago, it was the home of two plant species, Ambulia and Pelisneria, the grass-like one. There were many crustaceans living in it, like sea shrimp, daphnia, copepods, and aquatic isopods, but also snails, tubifex worms, and insects. A week later, we saw hydra, leeches, and what looked like a polychaete worm. After two weeks, the planarians appeared. At four months old, there was a planarian population bloom, 
with the Daphnia had gone extinct, possibly due to the predation by the aquatic isopods. When the ecosystem was a year old, the Ambulia, one of the yeah. plants, as well as a few animals such as the copepods, aquatic mites, and tubifects, aka the booby worms, went extinct in this closed ecosystem. After two years, the leeches, hydra, and aquatic isopods were gone as well. The ecosystem now consisted of Felisneria, algae, bladder snails, ostracos, planaria, a small aquatic mite, and of course, microbes. When the ecosystem was three years old, three years ago now, not much had changed anymore. All the same species as a year earlier were still there, except for the small mite. It seemed that this ecosystem had finally reached a balanced state, in which all organisms were able to sustain themselves and or each other, resulting in a self-sustaining close ecosystem with at least a seemingly stable biodiversity. There were quite a lot of plants and there was a lot of algae growth. That was the last update you saw. About a year ago, when the ecosystem was five years old, this is what it looked like. Sadly, the planaria had gone extinct as well, and there was only one little Velisneria left. The photosynthetic life consisted mostly of a lot of filamentous algae. Apart from the smaller ostracods, or sea shrimp, that were abundant during the entirety of this ecosystem's life, there was now also a very large population of these larger ostracods. They were mostly burrowing in the large sediment layer. They must have been in this ecosystem before, but never this abundant. Interesting. And now, the ecosystem at 6 years old. So, this is what it looks like. A green soup with the Valisneria in it. Nearly all the filamentous algae have died and decomposed. It seems like they kind of switched places with the unicellular algae that are now very abundant and are turning the water green. Apart from the plants, something has to remove the nutrients from the water. It's interesting that it took six years before the water turned green. Some of my other ecospheres started very green in the beginning or seemed to have seasonal changes. Sometimes being clear. You are massive. On this episode, yeah. Alison's life and death battle to save a baby camel. It doesn't look very good, Margie. And the baby's critically ill mother. <laughs> Definitely out of my comfort zone. Looks like she's got some pretty nasty injuries. Luna has been hit by a car. Oh, wow. Alex is shocked at the brave little dog's injuries. I'm really worried about them, sweetheart. Poor girl. Hey, Rosie. And Tim's koalas need urgent tests. Are we going to test everyone to call? Everyone. But they're not cooperating. That wasn't... No, come on. Almost. You make my world a better place. Damn one-year-old puppy Luna, who's been rushed into emergency after being hit by a car. She's definitely in a degree of shock. I've given her some pain relief, but let's get her on some oxygen. Poor girl. And I just want to check out her wounds because she looks like she's got some pretty nasty injuries. Owners Hope and Liam are devastated at what's happened to their precious girl. We accidentally left the side door open and um, I heard a car. I heard the car and I just felt like Something was wrong and ran around looking for Luna and couldn't find her so I went out the front and um, then she was just hobbling over to me. Her front paw was all floppy, pretty devastating. Alright, let's see what's going on. I'm just going to go nice and slowly. I'm just going to start back. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, darling. I can see underneath here. She's got wounds. She's been dragged. Oh, yeah, and on her belly, too. Oh, she looks like she's got grazing all along her tummy. That would be so painful. So I don't even know what her internal injuries are. With hit by car patients, you become extremely concerned about injuries like internal bleeding and head trauma but I can already see she's got significant external injuries. 
Oh, look at this. She's even got the wings on her head. She's literally must have just tumbled along the ground. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to have to do some x-rays. Okay. See how bad the damage is, but she's only a little old. Um, the car hit her at speed. Yeah, yeah. some damage right there. Yeah. Well, shall I get her sit up and... Yeah, if you can pop her in the bed. Alison is heading outside Brisbane to a camel farm and one of the biggest challenges she's ever faced. I've just received an SOS from Margie. She's asked me to come urgently to the camel farm. So I'm excited to be there again, but a little bit worried. What are we dealing with? Let's, do, let's do this. Alison has had limited experience with camels, so helping vet Margie is going to be a massive learning curve. Margie, it's massive. Humongous. How are we going to get it back in? It's not great. When I arrived, Janet's lying I've on the seen of our society is still there to look after you if we need it. Here we go. Go to the recess. Adult male, code red, trauma, 10 minutes. Activate the helipad. There's been an explosion on a building site. Part red, 200. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Imagine having to work here. Hello, Amy, can I help? St. George's, London. It's all going to kick off now. One of Britain's busiest A&E departments. Are we ready to roll? We'll carry on CPR. Oh goodness me, it's all happening, isn't it? We need to fix that, or you won't survive. Is it? Uh, a place where life... Would you say I was fit, Doctor? Honestly, I think I'm quite fit. Love. You are my everything. I love you, and that's okay. And loss. Oh, Mum. I'm so sorry. Unfold every single day. Or every bad thing that you see, there is something equally wonderful out there. Aww. Filmed across one 24 hour period, these are the stories of a nation and its health service. I thought I was going to die. You're definitely not going to die. You've got too many good doctors and nurses here. When people experience really significant illness or injuries, we see people pull together. We see relationships get stronger and we see people reflect on what really is the most important things in their life. Whatever happens, it's going to be okay. 